Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi and welcome to this video. Thank you for joining me today. This is the card I have to share with you. It's this lovely floral and this could be used for any occasion. Birthday, thank you, sympathy, whatever you want. I haven't put a uh, um, sentiment on you here specifically for that reason. I just love the way it turned out. And it uses a new stamp set called Layers of Beauty. Now I've used this before, once before. But I just can't stay away from it. It's just so gorgeous. This lovely big floral. So I'll have it set up here by Staparatus because it is such a big image and I don't have a block here big enough for it. But you can use um, a stamping block, it's fine. I'm going to ink up here in just my. Um, Memento Tuxedo Black just to give me my outline image. I'm just going to press down, give it a good press down. It's a big image. Yeah, that'll do fine. Okay, move that aside. Bring that in here. And I'm just going to look for some scrap. So we're going to be doing some ink blending. Here we go. And we're going to use some stencils now to colour in our image. And this is what I love about this set, is that you can colour it in using your markers if you want, but they have these stencils, a set of five layering stencils, and they just colour everything in for you. And it makes this so easy and so fabulous to do. So I'm going to line everything up and hold it down using some post-it note tape. So the first time you you get better at this the more times you use it and you just line it up like that with the dots with your lines make everything sure it's lined up just how you want it and then I'm going to hold everything down with some posted note tape well, I reuse this and reuse this and reuse this. Now I know that each one of these stencils has a notch here and you can line up according to this notch line. I'm going to just make a pencil mark on my grid paper at the notch and then I can know that if I line up my notch everything else should pretty much line up. So lightest colour first and this is pretty in pink. No, it isn't. It's Bubble Bath. One of my favourite colours. Never thought I would like a light pink, but this colour is fabulous. Let me just put him down our first layer of colour. You can go as dark or as light as you so wish and I think that's going to be fine so let's close that one up we're done with it remove the stencil carefully okay and the, these wash up like a dream just run them under the water and they're clean it absolutely like a dream now what did I say about lining up your notches and this will help you line up exactly where to go so see where my notch is it's there and then you can see immediately here everything's starting to line up just take a few seconds to get it just as you want which i think is roughly around there Hold it down again with some post-it note tape. I'm going to go in with my next colour, which is Fresh Freesia. I'm just, just going to just darken up certain areas. And you can do this again as long add as much of this 
was a little of this as she said I wish I think that will do okay and the next colour I'm going to go with now is Blackberry Bliss so let's again remove our stencil carefully going with stencil number three line that notch up again and using that notch we can line up where our everything should go that lines up really really simply as you can tell hold it now again with some post-it note tape as you can see I use this tape until there's nothing left of it almost until it's shredding I'm going to go with my deep colour now my black pre bliss lovely look at that so pretty okay moving on to our foliage now and take my poster no tape off here and again look for those notches and then I should allow you to line everything up really easily hold it down with the post-it note tape and my next colour is going to be lemon lime twist Another colour I thought I wouldn't like, but it's growing on me, I tell you. Okay, and then we've got our final piece now, which is going to be this one here. And this is going to give us our little details for our leaves. So let's line this up again and just get everything. Just ease it into position, making sure everything is just as you want it to be, which I think is around there. I think the tape has had it. I will use it till the end. Now I'm going to go in with some Granny Apple Green, which is actually going to, you wouldn't think it, but it's actually against the lemon lime twist it looks really good okay look at that lovely absolutely gorgeous okay take this post-it note tape off and now we are going to cut this out using the matching dies and it's this big floral here so I'm going to do that now okay so I've cut that out using the matching dies isn't that glorious and I've put dimensionals on the back so let's assemble our card now our card base is bubble bath so the standard A6 card base that's an A4 sheet cut in half and then folded in half and I've got a piece here of basic white cardstock that measures 14.35 um, centimeters by 10 and this is going to go on the inside but all these measurements and the supplier list is on the blog post and you can find the link to that in the description box below you'll also find them um, on my social media links if you want to follow me please do okay and then I've got a piece here same measurement of the country woods designer series paper and we're just going to stick this on the front I love the contrast between the pink and the blue okay and then we're going to take our lovely floral here and just decide how we want it to go I think I'm going to have it like this it looks the best like that 
and I've just as I said well that's popped up on some dimensionals and I took the packings off already so we didn't have to do that on camera and then I'm going to use some rhinestones as some embellishments and I'm going to keep just sort of diagonal going this way Let's see, maybe some more down there. I think that's enough. Okay, so there are the two cards. Aren't they gorgeous? Well, I know I'm biased, but I just love them, and I hope you do too. If you do, I'd be grateful if you could give this video a thumbs up so YouTube know. And please don't forget to subscribe to future videos. If you want more information about the project, supply list, measurements, etc., it's all on the blog post on my website, and the links to that and all my social media links are in the description box below. So thank you again, and until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.